Um, well, try Alex Fleming again. How you doing, Vooch? Good game tonight. Thank you, thank you. Um, they were trying to W down low, and they were bringing big bodies. Bam Adebayo is a handful. He had 25 tonight. Uh, first double-double of the season, 15 and 11. Um, you're the captain of this team. What do you see differently uh, this year going forward? Uh, well, I think that for us, I uh, think that the continuity that you know, we have, uh, you know, we're bringing back four, four starters, well, and James Ennis, you know, when he gets back, I'm not sure if he's starting out, but he, he was going to. Uh, so, you know, we'll have, you know, that continuity thing will help us early on, especially. Uh, you know, you have some teams that you know, made certain changes that have new faces and it might take them a little bit of time because you have, uh, you know, you had a shortened uh, camp. Uh, you didn't have the summer to kind of get everything, everyone together. So I think from that point, we, we, that will help us. Uh, but, you know, for us, I think it, it kind of goes back to the, the same. You know, we just have to, Stay consistent with what works for us. You know, obviously, has to start with our defense. If, if we're good on that end, uh, we, we give ourselves a chance, which did not show in the fourth when we were able to take some stuff away from them. We we're finally able to, to build a little bit of a lead. And then uh, offensively, just, you know, uh, play together, you know, play, make the game easy, you know, play for each other. We I always say, you know, we don't really have the big, big scores of this league. So it has to be done, you know, uh, as a team. And uh, so tonight we did that, I feel like. So hopefully we can continue to, to, to be consistent and build on that. Thank you. Aaron Goldstone. Aaron. Okay, we'll try again. Josh Robbins. Oops, the team went uh, four minutes or so in the fourth quarter without scoring. Uh, how did you guys recover and recover as well as the team did? Uh, uh, I think it, it kind of helps, you know, we, we kind of had, you know, situations like that in the past as well and uh, just have to, you know, stick to it. Uh, I, I don't know how much they scored during that time, but, you know, we, you know, we try to, you know, uh, just keep it, you know, keep defending and uh, try to give us a, a chance that way. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, it's, it's much harder when you when the ball goes and goes through the basket. It, it makes it much harder to defend and everything because, they, you know, they get we don't get a chance to set our defense and, uh, you know, it's usually in transition, so it's a little harder, but I think just, you know, experience, you know, we've been in that situation before we're able to figure it out and, uh, but you know, hopefully we won't have too many of those going forward. Dan Savage. Butch, what did you see at a Evan Fournier tonight? He had a number of big buckets down the stretch and, and what did you see on that play uh, where you fed him? He, he got the and one finish late in the fourth quarter. Uh, you know, how did that set up and and maybe did continuity play play a role in that as well? I mean, Evan, you know, did what he, you know, he's been doing for us for a long time now. Obviously, you know, we, we know he, he comes up big in the you know, end, of, end of games. He enjoys those moments. Uh, you know, he was aggressive as always, you know. So, you know, we, we know what Evan brings to the table. And, uh, you know, he just did it tonight at a very efficient level. Uh, he's a very good scorer. So uh, that play at the end, uh, I mean, it was just, you know, uh, they, they switched. Uh, so I had Iguodala on me. So I was trying to get the, the ball, you know, in the post. And then uh, as I uh, caught it, you know, the, his uh, Evan was able to back up his guy because I think his guy kind of turned towards me and was trying to help. So Evan you know, took advantage of it and uh, just you know, made a great cut. I was able to get him. And, um, you know, he made a great finish over Iguodala. And uh, Bayman Adebayo also came to help. So, uh, yeah, I think, you know, it was, you know, started with AG, you know, feeding me, then I was able to feed Evan, but it just, you know, like I said, yeah, I think it does come a little bit from continuity for us, you know, playing together for so long, having, you know, that feel for each other uh, on the court, that always helps. And uh, so, yeah, I think it was, you know, it was a good play, you know, team play from all of us to, to, to kind of, you know, be able to get that extra bucket that kind of put the game away. Christos Saltis. Hello, Nicola. Congrats on the win. I would like to ask you how you how you feel to share the leadership on the team uh, with players like Evan and Aaron Gordon, and also what can we uh, is this is this win kind of a statement about your uh, your potential as a team this season? Uh, I'm not sharing my leadership with anybody. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I don't. I mean, it's uh, we we have different you know, leaders. You know, everyone is kind of you know, leader in his own way. You know, some guys are more vocal than others. Uh, you know, some guys, you know, try to lead by example, but I think it's just, you know, there, there isn't just one leader. I think we, 
we all can lead in different ways, especially the guys that have been here for, for a couple of years and guys have been in the league for a while. So that's kind of how it is. And uh, as far as the win, uh, I mean, it's just one win. Obviously, it's it's a it's good win, and uh, we played against a great team, so it's good to start a season off that way. But, you know, it, it's one win, and things, you know, change quickly in the NBA. So we just have to, uh, you know, stay humble, build build on this win, try to get better each game, and, uh, you know, don't, don't overreact to it. Uh, but for sure, it was, you know, it's better to start the, the season off with a win uh, than with loss. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Numa had to play some big minutes because of Aaron's foul trouble. What kind of help was he in a game in this game? Numa? Yes, yes. Uh, Thank you. He, he played well for us. I think, uh, you know, it's always hard your first game, especially when you have to play a team like the Heat. Uh, but I thought he, he played well. You know, he settled down really well. Uh, he made some good plays. He was aggressive. Uh, no, Truman knows how to play the game. So, and I think as the season goes on, as kind of he gets a feel for the NBA game and the speed of it, he he'll be able to be really good for us. Uh, but it's you know it's always you know hard as a rookie when you get thrown out there. It's not easy. But I mean, in preseason practice, he's looked good, and uh, now you know he's just has to build on it. So I think it's a it's a good role for him uh, that he's gonna have with us, and I think will help him you know uh, become a good player. Okay, thanks, Fitch.